Horror Lies. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for Body Bags, and this week I am going to do He's Out There. Now, this is a movie you would find on Tubi, so if you want to watch it before you watch this review, go ahead and watch it. It's on Tubi. It's an hour and 30 minutes, so it's not that bad. Although I will go and say that it's kind of a slow burner. Even the ending's kind of slow burn, which I'll talk about that. It was a little interesting how they did it. I won't tell you how they did it. I'll just tell you what. It just felt weird, I guess you could say. Anyways, so, movie is, there's this mom and her daughters, and they're going on a vacation to this uh, cabin they have that they go, like, once a year kind of thing to, right? And, you know, I'll just, I'll just say what the uh, thing says. While vacationing at a, at their remote lake house, a mother and two daughters fight to fend off a psychopath who's been planning their abduction for years. And, you know, you watch it and then you watch the movie, you see, you read that, then you watch the movie and it's like, okay, it's not exactly like that, but it is kind of like, it's a little weird like that, right? It's like, okay, whatever, bro. But anyways, movie actually was really good. I mean, the only thing... the there's only a couple things I don't like about the movie, and it's not that I don't like it. It just either was weird or came out weird, you know what I mean? So, one, the ending. You have this slow-paced movie, and then it felt like the very end was just rushed. But, but it was like, all right. At least when I watched it, it didn't feel like it was rushed. Although, you, you watch it, and it's like, it was rushed, but it didn't feel like it. But it didn't feel natural either, so it's a weird feeling how they did the ending. Um... I thought the movie was actually pretty... I mean, it was Other than, you know, that and a couple other things, it was a really, really nice movie. Um, I liked how the killer looks, or the psychopath, right? I liked how he looks. Um, it's a different kind of um, outfit. Well, not like outfit, but at least the mask is different. Um, they foreshadow relatively in the beginning who the psychopath is. And I was thinking one way it would have been interesting if it was that. But it ended up being another way. And it's like, okay, it's whatever, I guess. Um, Alright, so the guy that directed it, uh, Quinn Lasher. He, um, I don't think he's done really anything that big. This was like one of the last movies he did. I mean, other than that, it's a really small list, I think. But the one thing that was interesting about this was... Um, I'm going to... I, I might say her name wrong. The the actress that plays the mom. Yvonne Strahovski. Strahovski. I may have said that wrong or whatever. But you might know her if you watch some older stuff like Chuck. Like that TV show Chuck. Now that's totally different from this because that's like an action comedy. This is a thriller. Horror. Horror thriller. Whatever you want to call it. But there was only like... Three there's only like six, seven actors, actresses in this movie, and I thought that was interesting. Um, that you can make a like a really solid movie just using like five people. Um, some of the stuff that happens at the beginning, like if you watch the movie with all the lights turned out and the only lights the TV screen, it's like oh my god, kind of movie. I had to pause it a couple times because I was like, whoa, okay, whoo. It was kind of kind of scary i was getting scared man <laughs> um it feels like um I'm, all right so if i had to describe this movie using two movies i would use 2008 house which was uh the movie based off that ted decker book and um um what was it called it's another movie i was thinking of um hush um I forgot who did that, but it's the movie with the deaf girl. And there's the killer there. So, oh, um. Anyways, those two movies combined m make this movie feel like it's this movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> I probably just said that completely wrong. But anyways, point is, this movie was a really nice movie. I did not think it was. I thought it was just going to be another Tubi, small, independent horror movie. And actually ended up, it was. it's probably independent. But it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So I'll give it credit to that pretty solid movie the kills were interesting the effects the storyline and just everything about it was pretty interesting although the one thing if there was anything to critique about this movie that you just be like oh another cliche 
is that I swear, in like almost every single horror movie, there's got to be like a stupid person or stupid people. And it's like, okay, whatever, bro. There's a lot of like stupid decisions in this movie. And it's not like it's like stupid, dumb, like, let's split it up. It's more like, why are you looking outside? Why are you going outside? Kind of thing. Some small, stupid stuff like that. And it's like, I mean, you gotta have to have your characters be stupid to make us like a slasher kind of movie so that you get the kills going and stuff like that. That's why if I that's why if I ever make a slasher movie or any kind of movie like that, try to make the people as smart as possible so it doesn't feel like, oh, they just they're just stupid. You know? But anyways, moral of the story is that this movie, if I had to rate this movie right now, I would have to rate this movie a solid seven. It's it's actually really good. Um, maybe an eight kind of thing. I'd have to watch it again because it's just, it was a slow burn and I wasn't, I didn't expect it to be a slow burn. So it was just like, okay, whatever. But I watched it a second time knowing it's a slow burn. It's like, okay, it's pretty good. Um, uh, is there anything else to say? Um, I mean, the, a couple of the other actors are in like a couple of other things as like, um, you know, like a backup character. Or, like, just a side character, you know, whatever, right? It's kind of there for, like, an episode or two, whatever. While the, um, the mom... I'm not saying the name again. I already said it once. And it'll be in the description. The actress that plays the mom, you know, she's in a TV show and she's in a lot of other stuff. So I thought that was interesting that, like, you know, the, uh... Oh, I completely forgot. This movie was made in 2018, so that was, like, four years ago. And so it's just, you know, interesting to see, like, a person who was in something, like, 10, 20 years ago in something now, you know? Almost kind of like seeing, uh... The guy that plays the uh, robot in Aliens, and then you see him in, like, Big Legend. It was kind of like that. I was like, oh, that's interesting, except, you know, not... It's like a, sm it's like a smaller time skip between the mom and then, um... Yeah, anyways, point is... Good movie. Watch it. It's on Tubi, so go and watch it right now. It's an hour and 30 minutes. Not that bad. Go check it out. I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for Body Bags, and I will see you next week with the Tubi movie. Bye.